First Peter's, First Peter's, chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah Bashem Rakakudash. Why the Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone deserve the honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and put you in the words of sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps. The RFID trip. Which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chambers of the Lord lift up the whole full lack into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chambers of the Lord shoot laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. I brought this eye. The Lord took the course of this video and gave me a clear thought on what I need to say and nurtured the whole full lack, the sheep. The fold, the one third, and um, I brought this on one of those men, and all the brethren that's on the battlefield with me, that they stand fast in this glorious path to perfection. You know, and um, just to let you know, it's all a test, and all we gotta do is just endure. And, um, um, things we're enduring is, um, um, affliction, fiery darts, the wiles of the devil, um, Satan, spiritual Satan, sending demons, jumping on people we know, you know? All a test, and I'm about to sign one of those men that pass to get one of those glorious crowns. And the men that's on the battlefield with me, and who I stood side by side with, and door to the end right now. And I pray that you know these men are, are valid men, devout men, you know, godly men. So, you know, we are, um. We are to um, stay vigilant, stay relevant, you know, keep that fear. Huh? I'm going to go up a verse in this chapter I started reading. Sheesh. All right, um, just read, I just read a little bit more, go up a little bit. Cause uh, it's a lot to this, this um, it's a lot to this ministry, man. You know, learning history, um, patience, hope, you know, mercy, faith, um, learn how to discern um, spirits, you know, um, being humble, being meek, being brotherly, you know. It's a lot to it, and you know, you know, loving the whole community of the one third. Cause um, right now it's the number's been set. We just gotta hope and pray. That's what we do, hope for a lot. And that's what these other camps don't understand. They don't understand that we the hope for a lot. And in order for us to get through this, we gotta have patience and wait for you to have our shot to make that thorough move. All right. A righteous man fall seven times, but he got to get back up. And that's what we are. That's what the other brothers 
Hey, if you cannot, if you cannot love your brother, you don't love your Habashim Yahweh Shah. Right? Your brother's on the battlefield side by side with you, and you're supposed to know, hey, if you see some fault in him, and if he's doing something wrong, you're supposed to correct him. That's your job. To get to um to hold up the your um the man that's beside you. Rebuke and all long suffer. Rebuke. Hold on there. Yeah, this camera nine. Um hope I don't lose my spot. Rebuke. So that verse, that verse pop up. It's a lot here, brothers. I'm just, this verse just came to my head. You know? I can't remember, I can't remember how it goes. A, um, rebuke. I guess I could use this one. I got a few I can use too. All right, cause hey man, I, I I truly believe that you know, I didn't I, I know for me for 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 example I didn't come in this um uh with the ultimate brain knowing everything I had to be taught by righteous men. And I and I'm I'm so grateful to Wadi Yawashim Al Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know? Alright. Um Proverbs chapter nine verse eight. Reprove a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. And I and 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 I'm so glad I said I love these men from the bottom and, and I'm so happy the Lord gave me these men. To be the head, and, and he he could have the Lord could have done anything, anything's possible, y'all. But he could have did anything with us. But case in point, he made us. He gave us. He gave. He he made us make the wise decision. And now we are um. Um, how you say um wise men. And um, we are vigilant men. That's the word I was going back to. We know how to discern things. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 1. A wise man, I mean, a wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner hateth not rebuke. Heareth not rebuke. A scorn, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. And an open rebuke is better than a secret love. Right? And, and and we rebuke we rebuke on the things that we have done wrong. All right, that's why we have to repent. And when you start when um when you get into re repenting and um coming back to Yahweh Shai, you become a you become a vigilant man. You be able to see things what's going on around you. Because the Lord said, "Be um," the scripture said, "Be sober, be vigilant, man." Stay in tune. You know? Um, Proverbs, let me see, Proverbs 24, verse 25. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight and a good blessing. 
shall come upon them. That's right. The Lord, those men that do rebuke you, the Lord's got crowns for them. You know, from the apostles on down, they got they gonna get theirs, man. They gonna get their ultimate salvation, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 5 It is better to hear the rebuke of wise, of the wise than for a man than hear the songs of fools. Uh, you don't want to hear these, these rappers out here and those little madness, man. We got to stay caution of that because there is something going on within this system and I truly believe this, that they up against the men of the Lord. This whole society is against the Lord. Yahweh Shah is men. And I'm I'm seeing this, man. Just some I'm, 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 all of a sudden I don't care about all that I don't care about all that shit that oh they talking politics and shit. They're trying to figure out on uh, the platinum plan. I don't give a fuck about all that shit, man. You ain't the wise men. You are not the wise you're not making the wise decisions. These men are not making the wise decisions. From the apostles on down, they made the wise decision. They made the wise decision to follow you, to be a shepherd for Yah Bashim Al Shah. Right. And the roaring lion, right now, they are sending these other individuals after our apostles and us. They sent it, these industries, individuals, these pastors, and um, these um, flunkies that's coming on the comic boards. Just all of a sudden, it made logical sense with the brother from North Carolina said that um all of a sudden everybody's flooding to the to the apostles. So they don't have they can't they can't just attack us, man. They can they can we on the street reading the Bible. And up and down, up and down, people walk up and down the block and they pass us. They're getting rebuked. Open rebuke is better than a secret love, man. And that makes us vigilant. That makes us sober. We have the whole plant right now. It's against the 144,000 and the one-third man, woman, and child. The whole planet is against us right now. They're trying to find a way to get this to be pointed at us. Because the royal lion is, 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 is physically the devil on the earth. And he's seeking to devour. He's trying to figure out how to devour us. He cannot. It is not going to be easy. Because the Lord is not going to let them, um, let them um, just attack us. You know? So we've been giving the ultimate um, information to these individuals. Because you got other people that give out information. But are they spiritually in tune with Yahweh Shemel Shah? They're not. <sighs> You know? <clears throat> I don't know how I got to these verses, but it was spiritual. I'm just give I, I I had a verse I'm trying to find, but I can't think of the word. In no long suffering doctrine. That's let me see if I I think that's it. Long suffering and doctrine. Like I said, let me see what time this is. Go to the, hmm. All right. Yeah, okay. That's it. It was these four right here, all right? It says Second Timothy. I can't even think of it. Um, Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be in season, be instant, in season, and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, that's our job right there. That right there is our job. All right. All right, because it's happening, man. There's a lot of individuals. That's, the next verse says there's a lot of individuals out here that's not going to um, endure with sound doctrine. Okay. 
this before I read the first one to see something. It's locked out. Something just came in my head. <laughs> First three. For a time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts, they will they heap to self teachers having itching ears. It's already happening that individuals is leaving the true doctrine, the true ministry, and following other doctrine. And they're thinking they got something special going on with themselves, but they don't. This ain't, this ain't the first time this is happening. The apostles on down to the elders have proven that they had the same people that had, that had the itching ears and went elsewhere. And some of them must pop back up. So we've been envisioning of these things. We're watching. Because Satan, the Roman lion, is sending these individuals back our way. And and we are right we right we right in the forefront. We're on the battlefield. Which is a beautiful battle ever, man. Like I said, hey, this is this is the I, asked, I was telling my I was just telling my my, um, my little, little little child here, um, my daughter. I said, Hey man, I mean hey little lady. Um they gonna um the test is for in testing we got this is all the test from Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's why I tell you you gotta stay prayed up. You know, all you have to say is Salaki Yabba Shemel Shah, the Wadi Yabba Shemel Shah. You know, I, she know how she know the Lord's Prayer. Call on the Lord every day, because that's your only protection. Right? Salaki, let me go back to these verses that I started from. I can't remember if I finished reading this. Salaki, I just, um, hold up, Salaki, let me go back. I don't know if I got that right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think I did read it. Okay, not going, these people are not going to stay in sound doctrine. Sound means good. This is good. This is good doctrine. This is good nurturing doctrine for our health. Here's to our health of righteousness. Because we want to live forever. We want to be perfect. And the first thing is to acknowledge Yahweh Shemel Shah and his son Yahweh Shah, right? And he's the one, the healing. He's the healing agent. He's the physicist. It's going to get us up out of here, man. Satan all over the place right now. Right? Right? And, and look, it doesn't say truth is, or lots of truth, or different ways to the truth. Look, it says, verse, verse, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. For they should turn away their ears from the truth, and should... And shall be turned into fable. There's a lot of fable out here, man. These niggas worship demons. All types of shit's happening around you. And you think that you you think we're gonna get to the kingdom on 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 the fly? You no, know, it's gonna be a lot of work to this, man. The, the righteous will scarcely be saved. See, oh man, but watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of your ministry, and that was spiritual because I wasn't even thinking about this verses right here, it led right back to the same subject, and we have to be vigilant, that's a part of um, being a full proof of our ministry. Salakia. That was oh man, now I can go back. Oh man, all right. First Peter chapter five. Hold on. Let's continue this first Peter. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. He's coming to devour. He ain't coming to play fair, man. He's coming to 